How's it going, everyone? TNT Fireworks official 2024 price list and catalog was released, so we're going to take a look at everything. First, starting off with the new lower price items. Some very good stuff here, especially Magic Beans, the Centennial Fountain XL, Wild Side, and Living the Dream. All really nice fountains that dropped a considerable amount in price this year. We'll move on to the assortments, which, if you aren't aware, are a complete ripoff. They are way overpriced, and my suspicion is that TNT fills them with cheap, watered-down fireworks to increase their profit margins. So, what I'd recommend is to completely avoid assortments and buy individual fireworks instead to put together your show, which I understand for most people is a bit overwhelming and kind of a headache, and that's why in my new budget guide video series, I did the hard work for you. I've made a bunch of these videos where I pick a specific budget and then put together a list of the best fireworks you can buy, which means you don't have to do any of the research. Just click on whatever video fits the dollar amount you'd like to spend and then copy down my list and bam, you have an awesome 4th of July fireworks show that is way better than an assortment. I'll leave a link to my playlist of these videos in the description below, so make sure to go check them out. And with that all being said, let's get back into the catalog. Now we'll talk about the new items for 2024, which if you're interested, I made an entire video doing a tier list of all of these. But my quick rundown is that I really like Icebreaker for $9.99, very nice blue effects. Eternal Eruption is also really nice, going for three minutes for only $30, which is a great value in California. Martian Man and Silent Insanity have very nice effects. I just wish both of them were about $10 cheaper. World Tramp is very mediocre, definitely my least recommended out of these. And then the Ninja Sticks are new sparklers for this year. They're a bit pricey, but they are very nice, way better than your typical morning glories. Next, we'll talk about the buy one, get one free items, which there are 14 of in 2024. Cool Breeze is one of my most recommended out of all of these. Same with the USA Rockets. Just a quick pro tip here, Cool Cat, Jalapeno Popper, and Cool Breeze are all essentially the same fountain, so just go with Cool Breeze since they are significantly cheaper than Cool Cat and a couple bucks cheaper than Jalapeno Popper. Purple Rain are up to $11.99 now. Morning Glories are $18. Little Red Devils for $17 aren't that great. And then you have your other classic novelties like your Smoke Balls, Blasts, Poppets, Ground Blooms, etc. And now we have the 500 gram finale fountains, which let's start with the really bad ones. Do not buy candy paint or allegiance. I mean, just looking at the price, you can see how absurd that is. If you're willing to spend that much dough, get opening show for $100, which is really overpriced, but is a way better fountain than both of those. And then the fountains that are actually a pretty good deal this year are Centennial XL and Atomic Salsa. $70 is still obviously pricey for a fountain, but those are really nice and did drop in price from last year. Living the dream is just one of the best deals in California, hands down. Highly, highly recommended. And then Light Symphony dropped in price quite a bit. It's okay, but not great. Now we'll take a look at some of the individual fountains, which you might already see this right away. It really jumped off the page when I looked at it. And that was Crypto listed at $19.99. Last year, this was $29.99. And based on everything we heard, we thought it was still gonna be the same price, but the flyer has it $10 cheaper. So we're gonna see if they will honor that price or not. It might just be a typo, but if crypto is really only $20, that is just such a great deal, and I would recommend getting multiple of them. And then besides that, we have Lava Panther, which is overpriced, but has really nice colors. Brain Buster, kind of the same thing. Very nice effects, but also very overpriced. Tidal Wave is mediocre at best. Same with the Dino Eggs and TNT Barrel. Really, the only two must-haves on this list, in my opinion, are Crypto, and then the Fruit Bowl Fountains, which are a great value with good colors. Moving on to the next page of fountains, we have three that are really good from this page, those being Magic Seashell, Magic Beans, and Toxic Barrel. Everything else on this page kinda sucks. Obviously, Piccolo Peats are nice if you want those. And then Good vs. Evil isn't too bad of a price. They're still really mediocre though, but you know, if you need some filler, not too bad. On to the next page, and we have two absolute must-haves here, those being the Centennial Fountain and Wild Side. TNT Torch is also pretty good. I wish it was five to $10 cheaper, but still worth it for those beautiful effects. Sparkleberry is really nice, but is another one that has really crept up in price. Still would somewhat recommend it though. 
And then Crazy Bug is very underrated. This one has dropped in price a lot and is actually pretty good with that flying fish effect. So one I'd recommend there. Jungle Flower for $70 is just way overpriced. You can actually get it at Freedom Fireworks under the same wrap, same exact fountain, same everything for only $44. So I'd recommend getting it there. Moving on to the so-called favorite section, which for me is quite the opposite. There's nothing on here that is really that worthwhile, in my opinion, other than maybe the Mighty Sword or Fairy Wands if you have kids who want sparklers. Mighty Sword is kind of a cool gimmick, so there you go. You know this page of the catalog is bad when Bella is probably the best fountain out of the six there, just because of the price drop, but it's still very mediocre. Laka Laka is the same as Wildside, but with an added flashing strobe skull, for $14 more. Ask yourself, is that little glowing face in the middle worth $14? Um, no. Anyways, Delirium, very overrated. Large mouth and tentacles, not good. Majestic unicorn cones, not good. Next page. And now you're speaking my language. We have the 70% off fountains for this year, those being Killer Bees, Game Mode, and Bottle of Sparks. And then we have Snakes and Lightning Flash, both of those for $179. Then game mode is 240, which is an awesome deal. Bottle of Sparks for 870 has some very strong crackle. The duration doesn't go very long, but it's under $10, and that crackle absolutely slaps. And then Killer Bees is just a classic. 270 is a great price. So I would recommend pretty much picking up all of these, unless you don't like snakes or strobes, which I don't really, but I mean, for the price, it's just good fun. And then finally, here is the full price list which will be useful for those of you making a list. You can kind of just look through here and see literally everything so that you could put together your list for this year. And yeah, really enjoyed going over this catalog. It took a little while, a little bit longer than I would have expected given we already got the prices on the Supercenter website. Let me know in the comment section if you think they'll actually honor $20 for the crypto fountain because as you can see on this price list it says it is thirty dollars so that's definitely going to cause some confusion especially if the physical like printout ones also say 20 bucks so we'll just have to see what happens if you enjoyed this video a like and subscribe is always appreciated i got lots more content coming on the way so i'll see you guys in the next one thanks for watching and hold on a second i forgot one last thing if you want to save ten dollars off a purchase of 100 or more right away at tnt fireworks watch the video that i linked in the description going over tnt's new rewards program you can also save up to 75 dollars off future purchases by saving up your rewards points so yeah go check it out once again thank you for watching see ya